In this video, we are looking at Glance, a highly customizable dashboard which specializes in displaying beautiful feeds of information from a variety of sources. I will show you how to deploy it in Dockage, customize some of the feeds, and give it a new theme. Glance was chosen by vote this past weekend on Discord. If you have not joined the Discord server yet, jump on and cast your vote if there's a video you'd like to see. Let's get started. Let's jump over to our datasets tab. And my tank configs dataset, I'm going to use the button in the top right to add a new dataset. I'm going to call it Glance. And I'm going to leave the dataset preset as generic and click Save. When the warning comes up, click Return to Pool List. In the bottom right, I want to edit my permissions, change the group to apps, give that group read, write, and execute permissions by clicking the center box, and then removing all the permissions for other. Click the Apply Group checkbox under the apps group, and then click Save. Now I'm going to jump over to the wiki. In the top search bar, I'm going to search for Glance. I'm going to click the result. Now I'm going to copy the Docker Compose file from section one, deploy Glance. Copy it, open up Dockage, create a new Compose stack, call it Glance, and paste all that information here. I've already created this volume, and for me, port 8080 is open, so I'm not going to change anything else. Now I need to click Save, not Deploy. This has now created two different files for us by clicking Save. First, we have a stack in Mount Tank Stacks Glance, and now we also have a file in Mount Tank Configs Glance. We need to add an additional file into the configs folder before we can start this container. Let's jump over to TrueNAS, go to the system and shell, and then log in as root by typing in sudo su and entering your password. Now we're going to change directory by typing in cd and navigating to our configs directory, which in my case is in mount tank configs glance. I can see here by typing in ls-l that there is no files here. We need to create a new file from the wiki. Let's jump back over to the wiki and run this command to automatically download the stock file for Glance. I'm going to copy this, go back to my shell, hold down shift insert to insert, and then hit enter. Now, if I hit ls-l again, we can see here we have a glance.yaml file. Let's go back to Dockage and now start this container. We can see Glance is running right now. And when I click the 8080 pill, we're brought to the stock homepage for Glance. The file we downloaded contained all the information for the layout you see here. The Glance dashboard is laid out in pages and columns. We have this header bar up here, which shows our main homepage. The homepage consists of everything beneath it, which right now shows three columns. The very left column shows a calendar and RSS feed and switch channels. The center column shows these two feeds for Hacker News and Lobsters, this video horizontal tile feed, and then two feeds from Reddit r slash technology and r slash self-hosted. The very right column shows the weather, market feeds, and some releases from GitHub. Let's start by looking at the way that we actually modify this, which is going to be in the command line in the YAML file that we downloaded. Let's jump back to TrueNAS, and here we're still in the shell and the Mount Tank Configs Glances folder. And I'm going to go ahead and type in nano glance.yaml to show you what's in this file. This is the overview of how this page is organized. We can see the first page up here is named Home. And under home, we have these columns. We have a small column on the very left, which shows our calendar and some RSS feeds. Underneath that, we also have Twitch channels. In the center column, which is the size with full, which makes it much wider than the other two columns, we have a group of widgets for Hacker News and Lobsters, some video widgets here and showing the channels of YouTube that we're feeding it, another group for a Reddit widget, which shows two subreddits, technology and self-hosted. Our last column is a small column showing weather, the markets, and some releases from the GitHub repositories listed here. In the very bottom, we can see we can add more pages here, and it gives us some examples like our page name, some columns that are here that'll mimic the same setup that exists on the stock page that we downloaded. Let's start tweaking this page by just adjusting the things that are on the page to show you how we can make some changes before we go ahead and add additional features. By going all the way back to the top, I'm going to start by adjusting the calendar and I'm going to say the first day of the week I want to change to is going to be Sunday, changing some of these RSS feeds. I'm going to leave self host in here and I'm going to change the limit to three. I'm going to change this next line over here by deleting it completely. And I'm going to add Lifehacker by pasting the Lifehacker RSS URL. And I'm going to give it a title, Lifehacker, and I'm going to give it a limit of two. I'm now going to remove the rest of these by hitting Control K to delete the whole line. And I'm going to add one more in here for Wired Magazine. I'm going to give it a title of Wired and a limit of two. 
I'm going to hit Control X and then Y and then enter to save this. And I'm going to go back to Dockage and I'm going to restart my Glances app. Now that it's restarted, I'm going to go back to the web page and I'm going to refresh it here. On the left side, we can see my RSS feed has now been modified and my calendar has been changed. It starts on Sunday. And if I click Show More, I can see two entries from Wired, two from Lifehacker, and three from Self Host. If I click one of the self hosted weeklies, for example, the one for 31 October, it'll open up a new tab and take me directly to the self host weekly newsletter from Halloween. Now let's work on the center pane. I want to change the hacker news and lobster feeds. I'm definitely going to change the YouTube channel feed and I want to pick a couple different Reddit feeds here. So let's go back to TrueNAS. I'm going to hit the up arrow to select my last command, which is nano glance.yaml. I'm going to go in here and I'm going to go to the part where it says size full. Size full refers to the fact that, that middle center pane is almost the whole width of the page. So right now there's a widget here for a type group and there's two types. One is hacker news, the other is lobsters. I'm gonna jump over to the GitHub documentation for Glance. The documentation is what's gonna guide you through changing everything about this dashboard. In the configuring Glance section, I, down here where it says widgets, we can see we have a huge list of widgets, everything from RSS all the way down to HTML. Because it includes an HTML and an iframe widget, you can technically make this as customizable as you want by using something like an iframe to encapsulate an entire web page. But we're not going to do that. We're going to use some more of the built-in widgets. I'm actually a much bigger fan of getting my news from Reddit rather than Lobsters. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm going to go ahead and replace Lobsters up here with Reddit. And I'm going to keep the self-hosted and technology subreddit. We now want to add a different type. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and highlight all three of these and hold down control insert and then hold down shift and then insert to paste another one. I'm going to change this from self-hosted to home lab sales. So let's go down to this type here and remove all of these lines for the old Reddit at the bottom. I'm going to control X, then Y, then enter. Go back to docket to restart my glance and then restart my home page here. Now we can see in the center the Reddit widget has been removed. And I now have Hacker News, R slash Technology, which is here before, but now I have two additional tabs. One is R slash Self Hosted, and the other is R slash Home Lab Sales. Let's make another change now and change the video feed for YouTube. Going back to my config.yaml file, I'm going to go all the way down until I find the section where it says Type Videos, and here is a list of channels. I'm going to go ahead and remove all these channels, and I'm going to add the Servers at Home YouTube channel. Control X, Y, Enter and do the same thing and restart my page. And now we can see all of the servers at home videos. I'm not a huge fan of really anything on the right over here. So I'm going to go ahead and remove this entire column completely. Going back to my glances.yaml, I'm going to go all the way to the end. And we can see here everything where it says size small is going to be the rightmost pane. So I don't like any of these widgets particularly. I kind of like the weather widget. I might move this over to the left side. So let's go ahead and grab weather. I'm going to hold down Control Insert to copy that. But really what I'm going to do is now move my cursor up here and then hold down Control K to remove the rest of this column. I'm going to go all the way back to the top. And right here, I'm going to add the weather widget back in. I'm going to Control X, then Y, then Enter. Refresh. Back on my home page, I now get way more width for what used to be the center column. And on the left side, I now have my calendar, my weather, my RSS feeds, and my Switch channels. I want to go ahead and jump back to the documentation here and go all the way back to the top. I'm going to jump to Docker containers because that's probably going to be the most likely one that you guys are going to use. The first thing I want to do is put this type in. In my case, I'm going to put it in the center bottom. Go ahead and grab this widget type by hitting the copy button here. Going back to my glance.yaml, going all the way to the end, holding down shift and insert, copy this in. And you notice here the spacing is off and I have to make sure the spacing is perfect. Otherwise it won't work. So I'm going to line it up. So now my type Docker containers hide by default false should be directly in line with this. Let's go back to our documentation. We have already enabled the var run Docker sock volume, so we're good there. Now there's two different ways to get Docker containers into this dashboard. The first is that we can give all of our Docker containers a label, glance name, glance icon, glance URL, and the glance description. Or we can type into our glance.yaml and list the containers one by one. And this is the way I'm gonna do it, but it's up to you which method you want. I'm gonna use a sample container I have running here, and I'm just gonna copy all of this information. I copy that, go back to my glance file, come over here, hold down shift and hit insert. And we can see here again, all the spacings off. 
let's go ahead and line this all up. Now that I think I have it aligned correctly, and I'll know because this will crash if it's not, I'm going to go ahead and make some changes here. So my container name one, this is going to be called Next Explorer. The container name here, same thing. For the description, I'm going to give it a quick description of what Next Explorer is. I'm going to enter the correct URL for it. For the icon, I'm going to go back to the configurations page, go all the way to the top where it has the icon section. So in this case, I want to use the ones for self host. So I'm going to use sh colon and then the name of the app. I'm now going to hit control X, then Y, and then enter. Restart my container. Now, by default, it picked up all of my running containers. So you can see here, Dozzle is currently running, Glance itself is currently running, and then Dockage is currently running. But I can't click them, and they don't have anything nice in terms of formatting or filing, and they don't really do anything. But Next Explorer, the one that I did set up, has this nice icon. It's clickable, and it has the description that I gave it. When I click Next Explorer, I get a new tab opening, and it takes me right to the address that I gave it. So for the rest of these Docker containers, I'm going to want to go ahead and do the same thing I did for Next Explorer, where I just copy and paste that same block of text over and over and just give these guys some descriptions and some icons from self-host. So as you guys can see, this is an insanely customizable dashboard. Once you get used to working with a config.yaml file, it's pretty simple to start just copying and pasting some stuff from the GitHub documentation and moving it around and changing it to the way you want it to be. Because of the amount of customization, I can't possibly show you every single type of thing this can do, but I hope that this video showed you enough to get you started and to make you just a little dangerous in working with the config YAML file. Go ahead and jump over to their GitHub page, and I'm going to include this in the video description, and make sure you're looking at the configuration glance documentation they have, because it really is truly excellent. And go ahead and look at every single one of these, because there's so many cool things you can do with this. If you want to know more about this kind of stuff, go ahead and leave me a comment below. If you like this video, go ahead and give us a thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe to the channel so you can get all the updates for all the videos that we're putting out. And as always, stay curious.